super highways so if anybody's not sure what these are once you unlock ops 51 you will see that your galaxy map changes and these red lines appear you don't see them until you hit ops 51 so these red lines that you can see which all converge and there's one for each faction and then a neutral one they all converge in these two systems and what these red lines are these are super highways evening juice how are you my name's scopely and i hate star trek freak <laughs> evening rev are you all right <laughs> so these red lines yeah, are the so these red lines are super highways and the super highways were designed to allow people to get to deeper space much faster because the warp times to get to some of these systems even in biggest ships even in big ships it was taking a long time so it was there just to make the warp time quicker to try and make g5 um a little bit more playable so if i go to my newly formed which nobody's seen on the stream yet this new beauty which i built last week to get the doctor Ooh. Look at that beauty. Isn't she, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? She is. Look at that. So I've built my new Klingon beast. My Vorcher. She is a G5 Uncommon. She is an Ops 53 ship. And at... <laughs> you knew I wasn't looking then. <laughs> you knew I wasn't looking at the screen. Um, and at tier 3, it's currently got a warp range of 320. So 320 gets me out to sort of around here. These 55 systems, these these are massive. These are like 500 warps. So I can't get out there with these. But I can get as far as this natively with a proper hostile crew on there. Um, but look at the time. The time for me to get there is 17 minutes and 5 seconds. Now, at the moment, because I'm grinding Klingon rep, so this is this was something. Um, this is why he's my favourite member from the officer tool. <laughs> Lube is the officer and Stewie is the tool. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Pretty Very good. good. So, so again, again, this is something that I think anybody that's approaching 52, 53 and thinking about super highways, think about this. So, because we're looking to grind Klingon rep, we're going to be spending a lot of time in first off the Romulan systems because obviously these are the Rom Romulans are the faction that pay out the most Klingon rep. So out the fair the furthest that I can reach that I grind in the ones with the um, surveys in the miners that pay out the most rep is currently a 15 minutes and 15 second walk from where I tend to base um, to get to that system. So 15 minutes and 15 seconds. It's actually gone dark here to turn the light on. So I'm going to write that down. 15 minutes and 15 seconds. And we're going to see what Super Highways does to that 15 minutes and 15 seconds and see how much we can actually improve it. Now, to get to Super Highways, the first thing is research. Uh, you need to be Ops 53 to unlock these, by the way. So anything below and that, you can't, you can't get there. Go on. If you're going to talk about the research, you might want to pull up the spreadsheet that Jules Verne made and posted on your Discord chat. Oh. Hang on. Let me just look at it and then we'll crack on. Oh, Jules, you need to come and explain that to me. There's a lot <laughs> of information. There's a lot of information in there. But I do like Jules that picture. Come up I do like this. I, I do like this picture, though. I'm happy to. I just me... invited him to speak. Okay. I mean, I, even, if if he's busy, he's busy. Then fine. Yeah. But but from a research perspective, you he, need he's the ops fifty three. Hey, Jules. Hold on, I'm having sound problems. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Now then, how are you? Good. So Lovely to don't, have you. Worry don't worry about the spreadsheet. It's really ah, good, useful cause... if you want it. Yeah. yeah. Good, because because uh, this because this made sense. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's really all that matters. If people want to know how many days it's going to take them to get there from those ops, that's what the spreadsheet is for. Oh yeah. 
Got yeah. So and just Twitch just split. post the spreadsheet and the Twitch chat as well. Yeah. Okay. Doke. Okay. Okay. So I'll explain what this is all about in a second. But in your research trees, in the combat research, uh, in the G five section, there's this part here. So this part is all about super highways. Well, I say that you've got to work on this section to unlock super highways. Now, the first three researches uh, had nothing to do with super highways, um, but they are all faction specific. So the top row is all about the Federation in terms of getting the materials to unlock them. The middle one is about the Federation, uh, the Klingons, and the bottom one is Romulan. And I'll show you what I mean in a second, because these use a unique material called intelligence to be able to do these researches they use nothing else they only use um, this intelligence so this stuff here so you can see it's blue for um, Federation it's red for Klingons it's green for Romulans and this intelligence is refined on a daily basis from a daily event that you get starting at Ops 51 and that daily event flips every other day it flips between a hostile killing event and flips to uh, a mining a mining G5 event the day um, af after that. So it goes hostiles, mining, hostiles, mining. The mining is always G5, and the hostiles is hitting 50 plus hostiles. So it, it's it's big G5 stuff. Vic Thor, thank you so much for the follow, mate. Where are you beaming in from? Nice to see you. So, and in order for you to be able to... Oh, miss my chat. So in order for you to be able to do the research, there are prerequisites because these nine researches, which are nothing to do with super high rays, do have minimum prerequisites on the researches prior to get to these three nodes. So these three nodes are your Federation, Klingon and Romulan super highway unlock. And then this at the end, Origin and Borg super highways, requires you to have the other three unlocked. So all three super highways um, for the factions to unlock the other one. So if I just dive quickly back out to that system, that hub system that I was showing you. Where they all converge. So you've got, you can see if I scroll far enough, you've got this one that goes up to Romulans. You've got this one, obviously, that goes to Klingons. And then you've got this one, which goes up to Federation space. So it's just to make that journey a lot quicker from this hub. And then you've got this one, which is the Origin and Borg, which comes all the way down. And it cuts you from normal space, so from Rua, so from normal independent space. And it saves you getting two the hub systems to then get to the faction systems much quicker so it adds an even more um so it just adds even more more speed to it so it makes obviously things more efficient and you can get places faster so that event that i was talking about that you get on a daily basis today was all about mining if i remember rightly so it's this one so it's a pinnacle of power event so it goes from pinnacle of power material mining pinnacle of power hostile hunting blah 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 now and that all pays out, pays out no resources, no materials, but it pays out raw intelligence. So raw intelligence is what is refined into the faction-specific intelligence. So as you can see here, I'm getting about 7,150 a day. 7,150 per day. Now that does scale by ops level. So scales by ops level, so it starts off at, and that's what this chart is that you've shown me in it, Jules. That's what this, that's what this was. Let me grab it a second. I know it. I, I, I get it now. So this is showing us how much you get from the daily events. So Ops 51, when this first unlocks, you start off by getting 6,500 a day. 53 and 54, you're getting 7,150 a day, which obviously is where I'm at. And that does increase on a daily basis to get to where you need to be. So you can see how much that you're going to get. And then you can work out uh, using this spreadsheet to see how many days it would take you to be able to get to each um, super highway. That's what Jules has created that for. But fundamentally, you go, you do this event on a daily basis. You then go into your faction store, your faction store. So if we pick the next one we're going to work on is going to be the Klingon one, which I'll explain in a second. And in your faction store, providing that you're... Um, Obviously, if there's sufficient ops level, you've got this exchange here, which exchanges the raw intelligence that we got from that event, and it turns that into 
in this instance because we're in the Klingon faction store into Klingon intelligence. We did work this out before. Mark told me before we had Section 31. Is that Klingon's security group or space group or something like that? And then the Romulan one had a funny name as well, which I can't, which I can't remember. Oh, no. Nub, nub, nobody saw that. <laughs> nobody saw that. And then Romulan is is R I. It can't be Romulan intelligence. Intelligence can it? That'd just be stupid. I can't remember exactly what that was. Romulan Imperials or something like that. Oh, somebody saw it, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> somebody saw it. But so you exchange it for the specific intelligence for the different factions, and then back within your research tree. It probably seems quite complicated, but it's not. Once you get your head around it and you've done it twice, tell Shia. No, it's, it's R.I. are the initials phase. I can't remember what it was for the wrong time. Yes, yes, yes. Very funny. Uh, back into the combat tree. Max the super highway stuff. Yeah, and then you just do your research with your specific intelligence. So if, at the moment, I've got everything that I need because you can see I'm currently actually researching the Romulan Highway and obviously the Klingon one, the Federation one after. So the prerequisites that you need, which is that handy dandy thing that I keep pulling that up, but I don't mean to, is what, let me grab this, is what Jules has quite cunningly made. So you can see that the first one in that, in that block you need at level 3. The second one you only need at level one. So this is quite important to look at because I, I, mean, I had to work all this out manually. I didn't I didn't know this chart actually existed, but because it will let you sometimes go higher with one that you don't need to. Like I could take this higher, for example, or that one higher when you don't need to. So don't go any higher on any of the others until you've got all your super highways unlocked. And even then, some of this research you might not be bothered about anyway because some of it could be about station dam station damage or station defense or something like that uh, you went wide rather than focusing on one highway at a time so the thing is Mimi I was at 51 for quite some time I, well, I say quite some time I was 51 for about three months and while I was at 51 and even 52 so the time that I spent at those two ops levels uh, I was able to um, I was, I, was, I was able to amass enough to be able to get all the prerequisites done to be able to be ready just to do the research for the super highways as I got enough to be able to do it. So I didn't focus on one. If, I'd, if I got to 53 quicker, I would have focused on one, gone back and done the other, then gone back and done the other. But because I was 51, 52 for some time, I thought of a three, four month period. And remember, you get this event every single day. So you can get raw intelligence every single day to convert into the faction specific intelligence to go do some of the research. So that's why. Richie, thank you so much for the resub, mate. That's two months in a row. Thank you so much. No, I'll just I'll just tell you that's exactly the same boat I'm in. I've got more that I need to unlock the first super highway. So now I'm trying to like figure out what can I do without overly spending before I'm off 53. So that's why I made exactly. this chart in the max levels. This is really what I cared about. It's like okay, just don't be inefficient. Don't go above these levels, and you'll be fine. I agree. I agree. So just don't don't go any higher than what you need to be able to do it. So doing the Immortal Super Highway now, um, and I think it's, that's about right for us to actually do it. I will do that in a second, Carl. I promise you. Carl, have we not been providing factoids to you? <laughs> he wants a stupid <laughs> one though. No. <laughs> So let's finish this research off and then what this should do is prompt us with a mission. Because it says in the description, grants a mission in the gift section to unlock the immortal superhighway. So let's see if that works. Are we taking bets as to whether that worked? We might as well. <laughs> no, it's there. <laughs> I don't I do I do already pressed it. <laughs> So, we're going to claim this, which is going to give us a mission. Look at that for a prize. One Latinum. One. Not a thousand, not a hundred, not ten. One Latinum. Yeah. 
Brilliant. Totally makes up for the ninety thousand you just spent on the speed. So I've, yeah, so yeah, I've just spent hundred thousand on a uh, on speeding the research up, and I got one back. Oh, hell of a return on investment. Better than ten recruit tokens. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it four recruit tokens to one latinum? <laughs> so, you, if, if I wouldn't even be able to get it. So I'm sure the that one latinum is less than ten recruit tokens. So hey, that is yeah. a good compensation chest, is what you're saying. That's not, I don't think that is what he was trying to say, even though that's what he actually said. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's find Immortal Super Highway. So, ooh, but we do get eight hundred ultra tokens for doing this research. <laughs> so we've got to go to this system, which is in the hub. And like I say, I'm learning this on the fly with you guys as well, because I've no, I've never done this before, of course. Carl, you want to be a mod? Oh, I think that could be the end of the channel, Carl. I'm <laughs> joking. I'm joking. You were joking about the anniversary gifts? Yes. Yeah, that, them anniversary gifts were funny, weren't they? The last one was good, though, wasn't it? How annoyed is everybody that got Jailer? And then she was totally made useless three months later. Three, three months later with the freebooters. And that's it. So that is all the mission is. Go to the system. And we're gonna click it. And then let's see what see if see if it does see see if it does anything. Oh. I thought it was gonna come up with like some posh. But what it has done, look, you can see that my that super highway. Yeah, me too, Jules. I got five of eleven shards. No best, longer best. red. So it's now not red. It's now some. It's now very nice colours. Look at that. Oh, but yeah. So what I was saying was, so it was fifteen minutes and fifteen seconds for me to get to this system with my voucher and this exact crew. I've changed nothing to do with the crew to do this. So me unlocking that one research has reduced the time from fifteen minutes and fifteen seconds down to ten minutes and thirty-six seconds. So it's knocked, what's that, 4 minutes 45 seconds off? 4 minutes 45 seconds? That's not bad, is it? That's not bad. It's not bad. Give or take 4 minutes 45 ball pack. Now that will go down again. A suit once I can get the other the other two unlocked to get to the other two set, sets of systems. And then I can get the Origins undone. The, or, the Origins and Borg Superhighway. Once I can get that done. I've heard it gets it down to about th three to four minutes because you're cutting out a lot. Because obviously, at the minute, all we're doing is basically we are flying to this system, so the same way that we would normally do. So, if I send my disco home now, my disco, I bet it will be. So, it's a six minute, 22 second warp home. Because it's going by a standard route, by a standard warp route. And what and then once it's getting to this system, it's then using the super highway to cut straight through here and get up into G5 space. That's what's saving us the time. However, once we unlock this as well, we're gonna be able to go from here, where I'm based. To, to Rua, which from my base to Rua is a one minute warp. So we've got a one minute warp, and then we've got no time in the super highway, and then we've got three minutes up to. So it's probably going to knock it down to about maybe four minutes. So we'll take it down so to about four or five minutes. Yeah. Is there a spot in like Klingon space? Like maybe deep space where it wouldn't be too high of a warp for some of your other functions that you need to do? you can base in and make that warp time even slower or sorry faster uh, well I need to get to this so if I could get um, the issue is that you've got to be able to get to this system at the moment because I've only got this one open so I've got a, what what warp is this system this is the problem switch up for the real reality or something yeah there's something that's going to give me the warp so the warp range on it. So warp, warp, warp 105. 
So let's see if I can find a ship that's about 105, and let's see if we can use this highway to get it up there. So like a, like like so my Meridian is warp 120. So now normally this system to get up here it now only needs warp range look of 105. So I could get a Meridian up to G5 space natively in five minutes. Why is that only five minutes? Oh yeah, because it's not this system right down here that I was looking at, was it? But yeah, so I can get to a, to deep space in five minutes with a Meridian. Or, or a Valkyrie. Yeah, but my Valkyrie won't have Tibbs. My Valkyrie, I don't think I'll have Warp 105, will it? Because we need... So because this isn't Warp 105, Tibbs, it's only Warp 95. Yeah? It's going to warp 95, we can't do it. Now that will change as soon as I unlock this. The Borg and Origins Super Highway. Yeah, but I could use Grush. Yeah, absolutely. So with Grush, I could get it out there. But I'll be honest with you, I'm using, for G5 mining at the moment, I'm using this. I mean, look at it. If I wanted gas, I've got gas. If I wanted ore, I've got ore. I'm currently sat on crystal. I'm just throwing. I'm just throw, throwing a nova on on here and doing that. But absolutely, as a second option, I tend to use. I, I, I throw a grush on there, uh, and I could throw. Uh, where's my little Ferengi dude? I chuck a rock on the side. And if I threw a Valkyrie, just to prove a point to everyone, because well, it's an ore system, let me grab it off that other dock. So because Grush has got extended warp range, we can grab a Valkyrie, which now has got a warp of 106, just can't send a proper miner. You're in the wrong system. No, I, would, I, I wouldn't disagree. I mean, I only ever use my Nova to mine G5. But spot on, I could now, with this crew, which is basically a protected crew, I can now get my Valkyries up to... Let me just do this. You can send it. I'll send it and we'll see how fast we can mine it with this, with this crew on. But I don't disagree, Savage. We have that debate on our server a lot. Yeah, the... Can you get to the system to blow it up, though, Cal? That's the problem. <laughs> Don't do it. Well, Valkyrie's isn't a bad thing to send. We'll have to wait for it to I get there, though. The, the benefit of the superhighway is a higher warp speed. So if you were based in Solve, for instance, a lower hub of Deep Space Klingon, you could still send your Valkyries to those other nodes in either the Delta space, and, and then you could uh, have a shorter time for your Vorcha to get up into, into deep Romulan space, right? Say that Do one more to... time. Sorry, say that but one more of, time. Instead of being based down in Origin space, look at this the Sove hub. Level 43 Klingon system. Yep. So you're flying right through that hub. If your base yep. was there instead, you know, how fast would your warp time be, right? So if you got like a five, and like you said, you got a 10-minute warp time? All right, yeah. So you could cut four minutes off if you were based there. Yeah. So if I send that to there, because, yeah, because like I said, because I haven't got all the super highways unlocked, it's absolutely a thing where if you can get close. But based in here, which is a... Uh, are these warp... Is 43 the warp 120 or is it the warp 75? Warp, warp 75. So, and to be fair, there isn't a ship that I ever use on a daily basis that's not warp 170. That's not warp 75. I can't think of one ship that I have that I ever, I ever use. Exactly. So, if you really care about warps, warp speed, then you could hmm. easily base in this area, send your Vorcha up there, and still be able to do everything you wanted to do. Yeah. So, if I pull my Vorcha up there now. So, imagine, so let's imagine that we was in this house. Let's make it as accurate as possible, because 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 you can't base in um, there anyway. So 
So we'll go to one of the spine systems because you can't base in in spot. The bob. Is your stellar that high? My yeah, good point. Yeah, good point, Tibbs. I think that'll only be what is it, fifty-five? Because it, it didn't increase with warp, did it? So warp thirty plus twenty-five for research. Well, thirty-three, so it'd be. Oh, sorry, thirty-three. So fifty-eight. Yeah. Yeah, fifty-eight. So no, so I, you if if you did do that, you wouldn't be able to do anything with muds. And do you know what the big thing for me is? I'm happy for my vulture to spend ten minutes warping as opposed to fifteen. That will only get quicker as I get the other super highways done. I do have five stellar tibs. Don't mention that while Carl's here, Tibbs. We don't mention my five my five stellars. Five max stellars as well. <laughs> so let's check this. It was a bug, Summer. It was a bug. A while back. So now I could get to this system, which we which got us down. So it was 10 minutes and 46 seconds. Whereas if we based up here. But we are sacrificing the ability to do muds. I can get to that system now in seven minutes. So about three, about three and three quarter minutes, it knocks off Jules. That's super highways in a nutshell. <laughs>